Hi guys, I'm here at my sunny desk and I thought I would share today um, one of the palettes that I'm bringing on our trip next week to Costa Rica. Um, this is the small palette. It's just in a, a Karen Dash tin. And these are the colors. And I'll tell you what they are, but I thought I would make a mixing chart for them because this is an odd little bunch of colors to take in a one palette, but um, that's not the only palette I'm taking. This is just like a fun little bright colors because we're going to a bright colorful place kind of palette. So I thought I would do a mixing chart. So I started by getting the colors themselves down on the chart. I've got my little list here so I don't forget what's what. Um, the first color is Core Quin Quinacridone Magenta. The second one is a fluorescent yellow that came out of a Koi watercolor kit. You know those little kits? Um, I've had it forever, but that's a fluorescent yellow. Not really, um, I wouldn't call it like a fine artist uh, paint, but um, there it is. Um, we have Core Cobalt Teal. Cool. There's a lot of core and a lot of Holbein in this um, palette. Uh, cobalt Teal, we got Core Quinacridone Gold, Core Green Gold, and Core Pyrrole Red. Um, let's see. Then we've got Holbein Peacock Blue, Holbein Horizon Blue, Opera. I know that this is a fugitive color, but it's on here too. I mean, same as this. This is a fun palette. Um, Brilliant Pink, Holbein Brilliant Pink, um, Holbein Cadmium Yellow Deep, Holbein Mineral Violet. It's probably the darkest color on the palette. Um, Holbein Lavender, one of my favorite colors from Holbein. Holbein Shell Pink, Holbein Leaf Green, Holbein Quinacridone Violet, Holbein Violet Gray. This is a newer color to me and I'm in love with it. And the last one is Core Rich Green, not Core, Daniel Smith Rich Green Gold. So, and that's just in a little pan over here. Okay, so that's what that is across, that's what is down, and that's where those colors meet on the chart. That's what's there. So the pure color here, here, and here. And then we're gonna start mixing. So I have my little mixing palette here. Got my brushes, got my water. Okay, and hopefully I don't screw this up because it took me a long time to draw it and <laughs> paint it because I don't really like to do charts too much. I'm not really, it's not really my jam, especially measuring and all that, Blah. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is mix the quinacridone magenta with the fluorescent yellow. And I'm not doing this side, I'm only doing this because it's literally doing the colors twice. And that's silly, so <laughs> you'll see that it's only, is that right? Yeah. I'm gonna mix there, there. Oh no, it'll be under, okay. So here, so grab some of our color. Hope you can see. This is made made like a drab kind of orangey color. Let's see here. This is 18 colors, so on a 10 by 7 piece of paper that makes pretty small squares, but it's enough to be able to see the mixed color. We're gonna just keep mixing the um, quinacridone magenta with all of these colors all the way down. So we get more of that magenta. Now we're gonna do the cobalt teal. Oh, that's pretty. And this way I'm not limited on my trip 
it's not just these 18 colors I'm bringing all of the mixes that they make see we're gonna mix the quinacridone gold I don't know how this is gonna look but let's find out oh cool actually get a tiny bit more of the magenta in there Yeah, that makes a cool color. A little bit too wet there. Look at it separating in the palette, that's pretty. Okay, the next one is going to be green gold, the core green gold. And then pyro red, pyro red, however you want to say it. Let's make it like a bright orange. Yeah, more reddish orange. Okay. Move this out of the way. Now peacock blue. And that makes beautiful purple. Really pretty. And horizon blue. the pastel of the white pigment in that makes that look like more of a opaque color which is cool okay next is opera so I'm not sure there's going to be much change from the opera with the yeah. That just makes a darker opera, basically, which is not really what you want with opera anyway, but there's that. Now, brilliant pink. That's pretty. I hope you guys can hear me. I have a new microphone, which I'm thrilled about. You might be able to actually hear me now. Okay. The next is going to be the Cadmium Yellow Deep. This ought to be interesting. Right, so it makes like a creamy red. on the deeper side. Well, I'm using a Cotman brush. Uh, that's a lie, it's a Princeton Select number three. I saw the blue color and thought it was Cotman brush. Blue. Okay, next one is Mineral Violet. It pretty much takes over. <laughs> it just made the mineral violet pinker, which is expected. And running out of 
mixing space. Let's do that. Grab some of these. Oh, that's a pretty color. Like a creamy purple. That's pretty. Hope you guys can see that. All right, let me clean off my palette right quick. How pretty is that? Next is shell pink. Leaf green is next. This makes an interesting kind of orange brown color. Then we've got, what is this? Hold on, it's quinacridone violet. Not going to be much change to that. And then we have the violet gray. So many of these just come out looking like magenta. <laughs> it's a very strong color. Um, and the last one is the Daniel Smith Rich Green Gold. That is going to make us an orange. An interesting orange. Okay. So the next colors we're going to mix, so we're going to do this for all of them, <laughs> it takes a long time to do these charts, is the fluorescent yellow. I don't know how interesting these colors are going to come out. This is a very much a specialty color, very much a, probably will fade really, really quickly kind of color. But. This is just a fun palette. I don't think I'm selling any masterpieces with this palette. So here we go. Um, so we've already done magenta. The next one is going to be cobalt teal. Oh, it makes a cool green, y'all. Definitely. Nice. So I made a bright green for us. Next is quinacridone gold. And that just lightened up the gold basically. So I'm hoping you can see, basically, I can get a whole range of different colors with these 18. 
but it would not be like your standard mixing set. Like it doesn't start out with your normal colors to mix with at all. Okay, what was that one? That was the queen gold. Now we need green gold. That makes like a cool mustardy kind of color. Which I dig. And I know going to Costa Rica, there's not a ton of greens in this set, but I'm bringing two. So this is like the standard set I'm bringing there. And so as you can see, the greens are there. This is just the fun weird palette. Okay, and the next one is going to be the Pearl Red. It's super overpowering. There we go. And that makes a really cool bright orange. Let's Peacock blue. I knew that was going to be a pretty color. This makes neon green. It will be interesting to see what these colors are when they dry down. it again. Look how pretty that is. Okay. drink. Pardon me. Okay. Next we're going to do horizon blue with the fluorescent yellow. I honestly did not check like the Koi website or anything else to find the actual name of this color or pigment or anything. I had this set for years and years and years. I think I've taken them out of the original palette many years ago so I really I just knew that it was going to be a cool color but not a stable you know fine art used for everything kind of color oh wow I love this color this is made like a minty green really pretty a minty green I didn't expect it to be that like minty color that's pretty okay cool then we've got what opera this will be interesting Let's see what kind of orange we come out with eh, kind of a plain orange I thought those two bright colors would come up with something really bright but not so much It's just all right. Then we've got brilliant pink. Hmm. This is made like a Caucasian flesh tone, like with a yellow undertone kind of color. Kind of pretty. I'm trying to think about what I would call that color. 
it's different, I don't know. Um, this is the Cadmium Yellow Deep. And it's made a bright Cad Yellow. Next is Mineral Violet. This is that dark color. Let's see how that goes. It's gonna make us a brown. Like a shadowy kind of brown. Yep. I dig it, I like that. Like a purple shadow color. And lavender. made us a really pretty green and um, <laughs> it looks like compost green from Holbein pretty much pretty much compost green how's that next one no, I do. Anyway, looks like compost green from Holbein Now it's going to be shell pink. This might be a pretty ugly color. Let's see. Mm. It's not ugly. It's a lot like that, like I said, that yellow Caucasian color, only more yellow. It's like butter, like <laughs> butter color. <laughs> okay. And now we're gonna do leaf green. Interesting. Leaf green is already pretty bright, but this kind of made it brighter. Yeah. I've got one that is traveling here. Okay. Macrodome Violet. I like this color. muddy something but I like it like almost green I'll just see what that looks like when it dries that looks interesting okay now we're gonna do the violet gray Same kind of muddy color, but more uh, more on the gold side. And now the Daniel Smith Rich Green Gold. Yep, 
just going to make it brighter. Okay. So, I figured that was going to be the most oddball one, and I think it probably is. But next, we're going to geo cobalt teal from Core. I love, love, love. Let me check something, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, now we're going to do the cobalt teal from Core. And let's see. So we're going to start with the quinacridone gold. It's making a super cool green. And so if I need greens, this is how I'm getting them out of this palette. Next will be the green gold. even brighter green. But very, you know, mid-tone kind of green. Next, Pure Old Red. Cool gray brown. Really cool color. So, yes, this is how I'm getting my neutrals out of this palette. My greens and my neutrals are coming this way by mixing. Um, what are you doing next? Peacock blue. This could be cool, this could be not great. Yeah, pretty much as expected. Still a pretty color. Okay, horizon blue. It's made the horizon blue much more interesting, in my opinion. Like, it made it moody. It made this like very pastel blue, very kind of moody. I like that. Next is going to be opera. I need to change out my water. Yeah, these make a really cool blue-purple. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to change out my water. Okay, cool. We've got our clean water here. Let's see where we're at. We stopped at Opera with the Cobalt Teal. Get that separate. Oh, so pretty. There's so many times that your palette ends up prettier than your artwork. Okay. Grab one of these. Okay, so. We are still working with the core cobalt teal. 
And next is Brilliant Pink. Interesting. Sort of like dusting out the blue or the turquoise. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm making a really cool like gray dusty blue. Oh, I like that. Okay. And now we got our cadmium yellow deep. And it is giving us a really pretty um, green more on the olive side. And now mineral violet. No idea what this is going to do. Oh, that. It's nice. That made a really good shadow color. Okay, next is lavender. <laughs> Sometimes my hand just decides not to work. It's okay. This is pretty too. Oh. Toned down teal. I don't know how to explain some of these colors, just muddy in a good way, I guess. <laughs> now this is the shell pink. And it is made a dusty blue. More on the gray side than this one up here, I think, than the brilliant pink, but more on the blue side as well. Like, that's pretty. Okay. And what do we have next? Leaf green. Makes a gorgeous green, of course. bit on the brighter side than these up here. More like this one here. Okay. Then we have Cornacridone Violet. Making a blue-purple that is so pretty. A lot like the one that it made with Opera, a bit darker. We've got violet gray.
beautiful and our last one is going to be the Daniel Smith rich green gold our green from that so I'm gonna finish all of the rest of these colors mixing and then I'll come back okay so here we are it's completed this is the color mixing chart for this palette that I'm taking to Costa Rica there's 18 colors and you can literally like pick a color like lavender and what does that look like if it's mixed with horizon blue boom there it is so the colors are along the side or along the top match them up and that's what color they look like mixed and they came up some really really beautiful colors so I'm very happy with this palette 